welcome to FM Education Academy, a place where quality content is provided to all students. It is on your request that we provide educational videos daily. So please, if you find this video helpful, then like this video, share this video with your friends and also please subscribe to this channel and turn the bell notification on. In today's video lecture, we will be seeing what is a periodic function and what is a period. And also we will be solving exercise 6b section 1. So first you should know what is a periodic function. So you might have seen a wave. See this. Suppose this is my y-axis and suppose this is my x-axis and suppose this is my wave. Okay. Now what did you observe? This wave started from here it went down and it stopped and again it is repeating from this point and going on so you can see here that when the wave is repeating itself from the point it stopped that distance will be called as period okay so this is your period suppose if it goes on again, okay, so let us suppose, let us extend the x-axis and suppose this wave is going on again. Now, the period will be from this point to this point because this is unique, right? A half cycle and then another half cycle. This is unique. This part is unique. So that distance will be called as period. So remember, right? Time period frequency. In physics 10th also, we had seen this. So similarly, this is your period. So now coming to what is a periodic function? So what is a periodic function? It, any function which repeats itself, okay, within a specified period of time. That will be called as periodic function. For example, we see here, it is repeating second time, it is repeating third time. So this wave can be called as periodic function. In maths, functions will be indicated by something like, for example, you will have sine is a function, cos is a function, tan is a function. Okay, we'll see now. How to find out the period from a function? Suppose if picture is not given to us, if just a function is given to us, then from that function, how do we find out a period? So for that, you need to know the formula. Let us suppose f is a function and this f is belonging to a real number. How do we say this? f is mapping from e to r. That is, let us suppose e is an element, okay, and it is belonging to a real number. And that e is nothing but it is a function, okay. e is an element which is belonging to a real number and that e is said to be a function. So, let us suppose this is a function and this function is a periodic function. That is, it repeats itself after a certain interval of time. After this, again it repeats. Okay, so this let us suppose this is our what periodic function. Then let us suppose there is a smallest positive real number. Smallest positive real number. And let us suppose that smallest positive real number is P. So if we have this condition F of X plus P p is equals to f of x that is i said this is an element e now what is this element e f f is nothing but f of x only that is f is nothing but function f of x so suppose if we have a smallest real number p such that f of x plus p is equals to f of x if this value which we get f of x plus p will be equal to f of x then we can say that what is p here p is a period of f of x so I hope you have understood. Suppose f of x is given in the question. For this f of x, how to find out the period p you have understood? How to find out? We know that, let us suppose there is a smallest positive real number p. Then if f of x plus p is equals to f of x, we say that p is a period of f of x. Now there is a formula of period. What is the formula of period? Period is equals to, let us suppose there is a function g of x is equals to a x plus b. This is our function. From that time I was saying there is a function. f of x is a function. Again we are saying here that our function is g of x. 
Okay, so what is the g of x given to us in the question? Suppose a x plus b. What do you observe for this variable x? We have a coefficient a. So our period formula will be equal to p by mod a. That is the formula to find out period from any given function. So let us suppose that in the question it is given g of x is equals to a x plus b. Then period will be equal to p by mod a. As sine, cos, and tan are periodic functions, so we can draw a graph for them. So this cos will also have some time period, and sine will also have a time period, and tan will also have a time period. That is period. So here you see graph of sine x. So remember that sine x it will be periodic for two pi. Okay, so what is period p for sin x? Two pi. Similarly, what is period p for cos x? Two pi. What is period p for tan x? Pi. Okay, remember this. For the period for sin x is two pi. Period for cos x is two pi, and period for tan x is pi. So these are the concepts of period, periodic function. Okay, now let us start doing exercise one b. Our first question is find the period for the given one to five functions. One to five sums are there, and for each of the five sums, we have to find out the period. How to find out the period? Some function g of x will be given. That will be given as a x plus b form. From that, we have to write down period. P is will be known to you. Okay, it depends on the function. If you have a function sine x, period will be two pi. If you have a function cos x, period will be two pi. If you have a function tan x, period will be pi. So you have to substitute the value over here p and a will be from this function. So suppose see here, what is the question given to us to find the period of cos 3x plus 5 plus 7? That is our first answer of first Roman. So how to do this? Let us suppose this is our function g of x and it is in the form of cos a x plus b. Okay. So, g of x is equal to cos a x plus b. So, if you compare both of these, what do we get to know? The value of a is three over here, and we know that cos x is periodic for two pi. That is, cos x function repeats itself after every two pi period. So, we can say our period. Here we have to find out period now. Of cos 3x plus 5 is equal to what is the formula? P by mod a. Period of cos 3x plus 5 is equal to p. What is p here? P period is 2 pi. That is equal to p. So in place of p, substitute 2 pi by mod a. What is uh, a here? 3. We know mod 3 is 3 only because what is mod? When do we add it in mod? If it is negative. No need to write minus sign only write mod, but here it is positive only. So what is our period of cos 3x plus 5? 2 pi by 3. Now coming to second answer. What is the question given to us? Find the period for tan 5x. What we have to find out? We have to find out period of tan 5x. Now again, what we will consider? We will consider that we have a function g of x, or we will consider that we have a function f of x. It's your wish. Either you can consider the function of f of x, or you can consider the function as g of x. For you, I'll consider the function is. We will take f of x for you. So let us suppose f of x is equals to tan 5x. So how do we compare this with? We compare this with a x tan a x. A what is a here? A here is 5, and we know tan x is periodic for. Pi. So, what is the period of tan x? The period for tan x is equals to p. That is equals to pi. So, period of tan phi x is equals to what is the formula? Period p by mod a. What is p? Pi. What is a? Phi. So, the period of tan phi x is pi by phi. Okay, this is how you do these sums to find out period. Move on to third sum. What is the third question you have? Find the period for cos 4x plus 9 by 
सो आंसर थ्री टू फाइंड पीरियड ऑफ कॉस फोर एक्स प्लस नाइन सो वॉट इज दिस बींग कंपेयर टू दिट कैन बी कंपेयर टू अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स दैट इज इक्वल्स टू ए एक्स प्लस बी हियर वी हैव फोर एक्स प्लस नाइन बाय फाइव सिंस इट इज फोर एक्स प्लस नाइन बाय फाइव आई कैन राइट दिस एज कॉस फोर एक्स प्लस नाइन बाय फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर कॉस फोर एक्स बाय फाइव बिकॉज दिस फाइव बिलोंग्स टू फोर एंड दिस फाइव बिलोंग्स टू नाइन वाई बिकॉज वी हैव अ साइन प्लस विच इज सेपरेटिंग बोथ ऑफ दीज टर्म्स so we can say that 5 belongs to 4x and 5 belongs to 9 so this can be written as 4x by 5 plus 9 by 5 so this is our function now if you compare this with ax plus b what do you find you find that a is what a is 4 by 5 okay 4 by 5 and what is the function given to us cos remember what is the period of cos the period for cos function is 2 pi that is equals to p so p is 2 pi here a is 4 by 5 so just substitute in the formula of period of cos 4 by 5x plus 9 by 5 that is nothing but p by mod a so that is equals to what is p here 2 pi but what is mod a here mod 4 by 5 so remove it from mod it will be 2 pi by 4 by 5 so this is 2 pi by 4 by 5 this is whole divided by big big dash big bar Right, so when four by five goes up, it will become two pi into five by four. It will become reciprocal. We know that, right? Two ones are two, two twos are four. So five into pi is five pi by two. So we got the period of cos four x by five plus nine by five, or the question cos four x plus nine by five as five pi by two. Moving on to fourth question. Fourth question is find the period of mod sine x. So here we have to find out. period of mod sin x now since it is mod what we will consider is remember what did i say you if we have f of x plus p is equals to f of x then we can say that p is a period of that periodic function so here we have to find out f of x plus p so let us consider that we have a function f of x plus p let us consider that f of x plus p is equals to Let f of x plus p is equals to sine x plus p. Now let p here be pi by two. Okay. Let the period here be pi by two. That is ninety. Substitute in place of p sine x plus pi by two. What is x here? X is suppose theta here. So sine ninety plus theta. We know sine changes to cos, and sine is positive in the second quadrant. So we got the value of cos. 90. What is cos 90? We know cos 90 is zero. So we got the value of f of x plus p as zero when p is pi by two. Here we have to find out period. Okay. So why are we finding out period like this? Because we are having the sin x is in mod. Okay. Next, let us suppose that p here is pi. So in place of this f of x plus p, substitute pi. What is sine one eighty plus theta? We know sine one eighty plus theta is sine theta only. Why? Because one eighty plus theta means here since it is given in terms of mod, we will also write mod, modulus, modulus, modulus. Okay. So here also we have modulus. So sine one eighty plus theta is sine uh, minus sine theta, right? But since it is in modulus, in modulus we won't have minus sine. So what will it be? It will be Mod sine pi only. Why it is not minus sine pi? Because because in modulus we won't have minus sine. And why sine is not changing to cos? Because remember in the previous videos I have said whenever you have an angle one eighty, the sine will remain sine only. So we have sine x plus pi is mod sine pi only. So if you observe this mod sine pi and f of x, what is f of x given to us? F of x is also given to us as sine x. In place of p, you substitute uh, pi here. See, this is the value of f of x plus p. What is f of x plus p? Mod sine pi. And to us also, f of x was given as mod sine x. That is nothing but if we substitute p as x, then it is mod sine pi only. 
So uh, is f of x plus p equal to f of x? Yes, f of x plus p is equals to f of x. Therefore, we can say here f of x is equals to f of x plus p. So whenever we have f of x is equals to f of x plus p, we can say that the period is pi only. Remember I said p is the period if f of x is equals to f of x plus p. So the period for mod sin x is pi. Moving on to fifth answer. The question is find the period for tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus up to n square x where n is any positive integer. Now this is very easy question. Answer phi to find period of tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus up to n square x where n here is any positive integer. This is our function given to us. So here we can consider that let f of x is a function which is equals to tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus up to n square x. And how can I write this? What do you observe here? What is the coefficient of x? 1. What is the coefficient of x? 4. What is the coefficient of x? 9. What is the coefficient of x? n square. So what we can do here? We can take out x common and we'll write the numbers as it is. That is here we can write tan 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus up to n square into x because x is common here, right? So what is 1? 1 can be written as 1 square, 4 can be written as 2 square, 9 can be written as 3 square up to n square x. Here already it said, what is n? n is a positive integer. So let us suppose it is anything, 1000, 1000, anything. But here what do you observe? These are nothing but perfect squares. 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. And in basic maths, we have a formula that 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square value is equals to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. That is a formula which we have. So the value 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. So this value is substituted in place of this. So that is something but tan n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Now let us compare this with f of ax. So what is a here? If you compare this with f of ax, we got to know that a here is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. So a here is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. And what is p? We know that tan is periodic for pi. So what is the period here? Period is pi that is equals to p. So what is the period of tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus up to n square? It is equals to p by mod a. What is p here? Pi. What is mod a here? n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. But again here we have 3. Numerator by denominator by in denominator we have again one more fraction. So this will go up and it will become pi by n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 into 6 by 1. So we know that 6 into pi is 6 pi. So the period of tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus up to n square is 6 pi by n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1. Therefore, period is period of tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus up to n square is 6 pi by n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1. Hope you have understood this question. The sixth question given to us is find a sine function whose period is 2 by 3. So here we have to find a sine function and here it is given that period is 2 by 3. Every time there is the reverse of 1 to 5 right. In 1 to 5 questions function was given to you and from function you are finding out period. Now here we have to find out function and period is given to us. So it is very easy. Why? Because let us consider that we have a function f of ax that is equals to sin ax. Why we are considering sin ax only? Because 
Here it is telling we have to find a sine function. And why am I taking a here? Because we know in the formula of period we have p by mod a. So it's must to take a here. Now, what is the formula for period? 2 pi by mod a. So let us compare the given period to the formula 2 pi by mod a. So 2 pi by mod a I'm comparing with. Why am I taking 2 pi here? Because we know that for sine period is 2 pi. So in place of p, I'm substituting 2 pi here. I'll write the formula period is equals to p by a here. So in place of p, I'm substituting 2 pi by mod a. 2 pi by mod a is equals to 2 pi by 3. Okay, so here what can we observe? Here we are having period is 2 by 3, not 2 pi by 3. So 2, 2 will get cancelled and if we cross multiply, we'll have 3 pi is equals to mod a. So what do we have? The value of a, the value of a is plus 3 pi. Why plus 3 pi only? Why not minus 3 pi? Because here it is not telling that the uh, function of sine is negative. Here, okay, we are assuming that the function of sine is positive. So what did we get? We got the value of a as 3 pi. So let this be equation 2 and let this be equation 1. So what we will do? We will substitute the value of a, substitute equation 2 in equation 1. Here, in place of a, we will substitute this 3 pi. So, f of ax is equals to sine 3 pi into x. Okay, sine 3 pi x. So, we have found out a function whose period is 2 by 3. Now, coming to seventh question, find a cosine function whose period is 7. So, here we have to find out a cosine function whose period is 7. Cosine means? cause whose period is 7. So here again let f of ax is equals to cos ax. Let this be equation 1 and we know for cos the period p is also 2 pi. In the beginning only I had said the formulas right. Remember those formulas. It will be same for all. What is the formula for period? p by mod a. So here in place of p, we will have 2 pi by mod a and that will be equal to what is the given to us? Given to us period is equals to 7. So 7. 7 by 1. So here we can write this as 2 pi into 1 is 2 pi is equals to 7 into mod a. But we want the value of mod a. So mod a is equals to 2 pi by 7. So we can write this mod a either as plus 2 pi by 7 or we can write this mod a as minus 2 pi by 7. A, substitute this value of A. Equation 2 in equation 1 here. So substitute equation 2 in equation 1. What do we have? F of x, f of ax is equals to cos plus or minus 2 pi by 7. But if we have, suppose cos minus 2 pi by 7. We cannot have cos minus 2 pi by 7. Why? Because we know cos of minus theta is also plus cos theta. That is here I am saying, even if you have cos minus 2 pi by 7, it will become plus cos 2 pi by 7 only. Why? Because we have the formula cos minus theta is ma uh, plus cos theta. Okay. So what is the function we got? Cos 2 pi by 7. Okay. And even though here also it said only cosine, it didn't say negative cosine or something like that. So the value of f of ax here was also cos 2 pi by 7. So this completes our 7 sums of section 1 of exercise 1b. Inshallah we will be finishing section 2 completely tomorrow. So if you have understood this video then please like, share, subscribe, click that bell icon.